A woman stepped from the crowd. I know this man. He is old and changed, but I know him still. I was only ten years old the day he left us to go hunting, and I am thirty years old this year. But I know this man is my lost father, Rip Van Winkle. Father, I am your daughter, Judith. Judith? Well, well you were just a little girl. Oh, or then... That must be my son, young Rip. Yes, father. I see. Your mother... Is your mother still alive? No, father. Not for quite some time. Oh, good. I mean... Uh, too bad, too bad. Still, things could be much worse. <laughs> But, Judith, there are so many things I must know. It, it must be 1785 now? It is, Father, but all in good time. All in good time. Now, you come along home with me. You need some rest and a hot meal. A hot meal? Oh, yes. But I think that I have had enough rest for a long time to come. <laughs> And so Rip went home to live with his daughter. Oh, she had a fine house, a good husband, and Rip now had many grandchildren. He told them the story of his long sleep, and they loved to hear it. He also told his story at the inn, now called the General Washington, to anyone who would listen. Most people smiled and nodded among themselves. To them, Rip was not quite right in the mind, but they loved him just the same. In fact, since Rip was now too old to work, he found that he could tell stories and play with the children and sit around the inn with complete respectability. He was, at last, a really happy man. Well, that's the end of the story of old Rip Van Winkle. But what about his son, young Rip? Well, he not only looked just like his father... He also carried his father's lazy tradition to new heights. He spent most of his time beneath a shady apple tree asleep.